Hi, everyone. I'm your quiz master, Patrick. We've got a great quiz for you tonight. There are five rounds with five questions in each round. We'll give you the correct answers at the end of each round. We're going to start tonight with a topic that's been in the news a lot lately. It's billionaire scandals. Let's do this. Name the tech entrepreneur whose net worth plunged from billions to zero after she and her blood testing company were accused of fraud. Question two. Which quirky billionaire once bought a casino just to tear down its sign? This one goes back a few decades. He had a reputation for being a little nutty. Question three. Which billionaire famously memorized employee license plates so he could track how long they stayed at work? This guy is the co-founder of a very famous tech company. Question four. This one goes back more than 100 years. A member of which infamous wealthy family died on the Titanic? A hint for you. His family name is on a famous New York City art museum. And the final question in this round. Which popular author fell off the Forbes billionaires list after donating large amounts of money to charity? That's not scandalous, obviously. But she has said some things recently that many consider not very charitable. I'll give you a few more seconds to finalize your answers. All right, the answer to question one. The former billionaire fraudster's name is Elizabeth Holmes. By the way, she is currently behind bars. The answer to question two is Howard Hughes. Yes, he actually bought a casino to tear down its sign. The bright light was keeping him up at night. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Microsoft founder Bill Gates is the answer to question three. He memorized employee license plate numbers. The billionaire who died on the Titanic was named Benjamin Guggenheim. By the way, he was traveling with his French mistress. She survived the sinking. And the final question in this round involves Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. She's become quite the controversial figure recently because of her comments about transgender people. If you're enjoying this pub quiz so far, we hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, keep your thumbs to yourself. <laughs> Moving on to round two now, world landmarks. In this round, I'll show you a photograph of a famous landmark, and you must name it. The first landmark is probably the most recognizable on the list, but I'll give you a few moments to write down your answer. The second landmark takes us to a completely different part of the world. You've probably seen plenty of pictures, but can you name it? Number three, I believe, may be the toughest landmark to name but it's quite a sight to see. Our fourth landmark is easy to recognize, but difficult to say. That's your hint. And we'll end with an easy landmark. Can you identify landmark number five? I'll give you a few more seconds to finalize your answers and have another sip of beer. All right. Here are the answers to round two. Our first landmark is the Taj Mahal in India. It's a mausoleum built in the 1600s. Landmark number two is Machu Picchu in Peru. It's often called the lost city of the Incas. We travel to the country of Jordan for landmark number three. Petra is a rose-colored city carved out of the side of a mountain. Our fourth landmark is Neuschwanstein Castle in southern Germany. It was built by King Ludwig II of Bavaria in the 19th century. Number five is, of course, the Sydney Opera House in Australia. While its construction and high cost were controversial, it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. <laughs> Round three should be a lot of fun and a little challenging. I'll give you two events in history, and you have to decide which event came first. Question one, which came first? The French Revolution or the American Revolution? Question two, which came first? The first Starbucks or the first Tim Hortons? Question three, which came first? The premiere of Jersey Shore or the premiere of Downton Abbey? Question four, which came first? The movie Saturday Night Fever or the television show Saturday Night Live? And finally, 
Question five. Many of you have been researching this tonight. <laughs> Which came first, Budweiser or Pabst Blue Ribbon? I'll give you a few more seconds to finalize your answers. If you're already done, maybe you can spend the time pressing the subscribe button. Just a thought. <laughs> the answer to question one is the American Revolution, which began in 1775. The French Revolution started 14 years later in 1789. The answer to question two is probably no surprise to our Canadian friends. Tim Hortons opened its doors in 1964. The first Starbucks appeared in 1971. In the Battle of Highbrow versus Lowbrow, Lowbrow came first. Jersey Shore premiered in 2009. Downton Abbey would come two years later in 2011. Question four takes us back to the 1970s. The first episode of Saturday Night Live was broadcast in 1975. Saturday Night Fever appeared in theaters in 1977. And in the Battle of the Beers, Pabst Blue Ribbon was first brewed in 1844. Budweiser wouldn't arrive until 1876. Round four is for all you TV trivia fans. It's sitcom spin-offs. I'll give you the name of a popular television show, and you answer with the original show that gave birth to it. The 1990s sitcom Family Matters is our first sitcom. You probably remember it because of the lovable nerd named Urkel. But do you remember the show that gave us Family Matters? We time travel back to the 1970s for question two. Mork and Mindy is about a time-traveling alien. Can you name the sitcom that spawned Mork and Mindy? Question three. The Simpsons has been entertaining us for more than 30 years. Can you name the show that gave birth to Bart and his Springfield family? The show Frasier is our question four spin-off. The Seattle psychiatrist began life on which East Coast-based comedy? And finally, we head back to the 70s for question five. Maud featured B. Arthur long before she was a golden girl. Which controversial show gave us the equally controversial Maud? All right, here are the answers to round four. The sitcom Family Matters was a spin-off of the show Perfect Strangers. Mork and Mindy, which was set in the 1970s, was a spin-off of Happy Days, which was set in the 1950s. And while the category is sitcom spin-offs, the animated The Simpsons was a spin-off of the mostly live-action The Tracy Ullman Show, which was more of a variety show. Sitcom number four, Frasier, came from the Boston comedy Cheers. And finally, question five. Maud was a spin-off off the show that holds the record for spinning off the most shows. It was all in the family. Our final category of the night is called Two Truths and a Lie. I'll give you three statements about something, but only two of those statements are true. You must figure out which is the lie. Question one is about South America. South America is home to both the wettest and driest places on the planet. Amazon River dolphins are pink, and there are 22 countries located in South America. One of those statements about South America is a lie. Question two involves bridges. The highest bridge on earth is in India. The longest bridge on earth is 100 miles long and the city of Pittsburgh is home to 466 bridges. One of those statements about bridges is a lie. Question three is about whales. Some whales can live for more than 200 years. The gray whale is the largest animal on the planet, and blubber can make up half of a whale's body weight. Which whale fact is actually a lie? Question four is about the state of Maine. Maine is the US state that is closest to the African continent. Maine is the largest state in New England, and Maine was one of the original 13 colonies. Have you figured out the Maine lie? We head to the International Space Station for our final question. The ISS has been continuously occupied since the year 2000. The space station orbits the Earth every two hours. And because of the lack of gravity, astronauts on the ISS must exercise two hours a day. Which space station fact is actually a lie? Let's see how good your lie detector is. The lie about South America is that it's home to 22 countries. There are only 12. Amazon River dolphins are in fact pink. The lie about bridges? The tallest bridge on Earth is actually in China, not India. What about the whale lie? 
The grey whale is not actually the largest animal on earth. That distinction belongs to the blue whale. The lie about Maine will probably surprise you. Maine was not one of the original 13 colonies, and that means Maine is, in fact, the US state that's closest to Africa. And finally, the lie about the International Space Station. It doesn't actually orbit the planet every two hours. It's faster than that, about every 90 minutes. That wraps up tonight's Tough Pub quiz. I hope you had a good time. Make sure you tip your waitress or bartender. And make sure you check out one of these other fun trivia videos. We hope to see you next time on Trivia Hustlers.